So it looks like uh, the killers of legendary DJ, Jam Master J, they have been caught, okay? Um, for most of you old school hip hoppers, of course you guys know who DJ Jam Master J is of the legendary group Run DMC. Um, and for you new people who do not know, I'm going to explain to you who he is, okay? Um, he's a legendary DJ, a part of the group, hip-hop group, Run DMC of the 1980s. He was murdered 18 years ago in 2002 um, in his own studio, okay, out in, in New York, okay, in New York City. Um, he was shot and killed, um, and since then it has been an unsolved murder, okay? Um, many people didn't think that they would be able to catch or find the people who have been responsible, uh, but it was just re recently reported, okay, by the news and various articles and publications um, that they did finally find two men um, who are suspected to be involved in the execu execution-style murder of DJ Jam Master J. Um, now, I do have an excerpt, okay, um... And the article is also, like I said, it's on the website, djjericapod.com. So um, it basically is saying that uh, federal prosecutors on Monday uh, have announced the indictment of two men who have been uh, suspected of participating in the killing of DJ Jam Master J, whose real name is Jason uh, Mazel. Uh, the men who was in question uh, names are Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan. Um, uh, they were, um, indicted on charges of murder while engaged in drug trafficking, according to two law enforcement officials, uh, who spoke on the condition of the case. Uh, Mr. Washington, 56, is cur 56 years old, um, is currently serving time in a federal prison, um, for robbery, okay? Um, and Mr. Jordan, 36, was taken into custody on Sunday, all right? Um, so things are, you know, people are trying to understand and figure out exactly what went wrong. And upon more research from other publications outside of that excerpt, um, they were basically trying to say that the murder of Jam Master J involved some drugs, drug trafficking or drug deal gone wrong, uh, some money that was old, just some serious like street stuff that was going on. And unfortunately, um, they put a hit out for him and they took his life. Um, you know, the fact that they caught or, you know, actually arrested some suspects is very, you know, rare. Um, but we're, you know, for people that's out there, I'm pretty sure his family is grateful and they're, you know, are able to possibly find some type of closure in the midst of this whole situation, you know, for it to be 18 years since his passing um, and for no one to, um, you know, be arrested up until today. It must have been a lot on his family, but, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Um, that justice may actually be served in this situation um, because it's very rare um, for, you know, especially, you know, with, with like when you're thinking about Tupac, you think about Biggie and their murders, like there has been no actual arrest. It's a lot of conspiracy theories, speculations and conversations, but there has never been anyone actually arrested and convicted for those murders. And it looked as if Jam Master J um, murder was going to be the same way up until today. So it's just, you know, um, this is a big, big win. Uh, for the hip-hop community um, in regards to rappers being killed and basically no one solving their murders or just being like whatever you know they're dead it's what it is uh, I'm just glad that the you know the police department actually did their job this time and actually did a thorough proper investigation and didn't just let it go because it's been almost 20 years 18 years since he was killed um, you know as the story developed of course I'm gonna um, give you guys more information but from what I have right now, that's pretty much all we have. Um, and like I said before, the, the speculation of, of, of the reason why he was possibly killed uh, was possibly a drug-related situation. So that's all we have right now in regards to the murder of um, the legendary DJ, uh, Jam Master J. DJ. DJ. DJ.